If your yard is starting to bother you, and it's just time to make a change, this video is for you. Watch us as we redo our yard from start to finish in eight hours for under $500. My name is Josh, and this is my lonely mountain. So here we're getting started with the rototiller that we rented. I came on a little trailer uh, that I hooked up to my pickup and we brought it home. Uh, they also deliver them for um, an extra fee if you're someone that maybe can't haul it. So uh, something to think about. I've got my boys on hedge duty and I'm just kind of learning how to control this thing. The controls are really uh, easy to read, which is nice, um, and they're intuitive. Uh, just getting used to having something that powerful right in front like that is just takes a few minutes. trying to be really careful here next to the concrete. I want to get it as close as possible because I want to save time, not have to hand do it, but I, I don't want to scar up the concrete or break it, so still going to have to do that, I guess. Today my boys are uh, getting some allowance. Um, they're out here helping me. Uh, I can report back that they uh, they did a great job, and it was one of our more successful uh, afternoons for chores. Now it's all hands on deck for this portion of it because this portion of it is where we're using hard rakes to break up the clods to a fine dirt. Um, and Tyler's going around and picking up any old sod chunks that did not get tilled under all the way. Uh, 
um, making sure we get all the old sod chunks um, out of the yard is kind of important and we we miss some uh, but that kind of keeps that new breed of grass because um, invariably you'll end up with a different breed of grass probably than your house came with that's 120 years old so you want to make sure that you get all the old stuff out so your new grass matches So you can see as we're drawing it back, um, it's taken on a finer tone and that, that's just us breaking it and raking it around. Now, you may be asking yourself, what is this tool? Well, this is a yard roller, if you don't know, and its magic is that you fill it with water, and the weight of the water makes it a really heavy yard roller, not just a thin metal one. So I also rented this. I rented this on the next day after renting the rototiller. So I did a rototiller on a Saturday and then uh, this place was open and I went back and got this on a Sunday when returning the tiller and to rent this was 20 bucks a day. So now we're into our rental equipment about 140 bucks and that's it. We're done renting equipment now. Yes, it's kind of heavy. This is Scott's Winter Blend. It's available at uh, one of your big box stores, Home Depot. $25 now are what these bags are going for. They've gone up quite a bit since I did this last. Um, and I've got one large bag. Um, they, they sell the smaller ones too. And I didn't really do any measuring. I didn't do any Googling. Um, I just <laughs> remember when I was a kid following my dad around doing this and I, I feel like you just put as much seed on there as you can. So that's what we went ahead and did. Uh, one of these spreaders will run you about $20 if you don't have one. I think I've had this one banging around for 20 years probably. Now I'm getting bored of using the spreader, so I'm just going to throw as much seed as I can out there because I realize I've got a ton left.
I'm actually hoping to do a series on this backyard, a complete redo, including um, the back of the garage and the patio and the gate and um, some ornamental landscaping and maybe some outdoor furniture, a hot tub. I'm not sure. So um, we're going to be doing some projects at home, which is going to be nice as well as continuing to work on our cabin at the mountain. So all that stuff's on the horizon still. I feel like for some reason the road is extra noisy. Um, so the camera is definitely getting an interesting echo. Or there could be a four wheel drive meetup. So. If my niece and nephew are watching this, I hope they're enjoying just how long I'm going to spend casting grass seed. Okay, this next step involves peat moss. Now, peat moss is pretty spendy. Um, let's see here. These were $60 a bag. 
So I had three. Um, that's 180. So yeah, you put that with the grass seed and the rentals. Um, I get to under that $500 mark. I think the hardest part about doing a yard like this for me is having the patience. Um, basically watching the grass grow because you put a lot of work into it and you don't get a lot of payoff for about two months. Okay, this is our very first watering. Kind of getting this thing really wet just to get everything stuck together really good. Nothing will blow away. Um, get that first good good pack down with the, with the water. Here's week one. Here's week four. Week six, seven. Here we are today. Thanks for watching My Lonely Mount, and have a good one.